Hey, my name's Tom and I'm head of education at Scrimba and I just wanted to take a moment to look at the different paths that we've got now on Scrimba because we have got quite a few choices and it can be hard to know where to start. The first path we ever launched was the front-end developer career path. And this path starts from the very beginning. It assumes you've got little or no knowledge of HTML, CSS or JavaScript and no knowledge of any other coding language. It's an 80 hour plus path and it's designed to make you a hireable front end developer. So as well as covering all of the basics, we go into things like user interface design and we've also got the really important front end framework React. Now these days, pure front end developer jobs are not as common as they used to be. Don't get me wrong, these jobs still exist, but it does look like more and more employers are looking for developers that have got both front end skills and a solid understanding of what happens on the server. And that's why we also have the full stack developer path. Now, the first thing to say here is that there is a lot of overlap between the front end path and the full stack path. But the full stack path also goes deeper into the back end world. So writing code for servers with Node.js, for example, we have got a whole module on that right here. We also get into databases and we have got a full stack framework, Next.js, which is currently really, really popular. And just like the front end path, the full stack path does not require you to start with any knowledge of code. So we have all of the basics, HTML, CSS and JavaScript right here in the pathway as well. So it's suitable for complete beginners and it aims to make you a hireable full stack developer when you've completed all 108 hours as it stands at the moment. And of course, when you've done all of the challenges and practice. Now, for some people, the back end is where you want to be writing code, which is fair enough. Not everybody is keen on all of the design aspects, for example, of front end. And so for them, we have the back end developer path. And this path focuses on everything which happens outside of the browser to make apps work. So we look at things like how the internet works, for example. And of course, just like in the full stack path, there's a lot of focus on the code we write on servers. So we've got Node.js again, databases, and we also go into some backend frameworks as well. And some of this overlaps with the full stack path and some of it doesn't. A couple of things which are only in the backend path at the moment are cybersecurity and also this DevOps section right here. And DevOps is a fairly complex concept to try and explain briefly, but it basically involves using automation to build, test and release software updates with minimal disruption to service. So it's a really important backend skill. There are two things I want to draw your attention to about the backend path. Firstly, again, it is a JavaScript based path, and that does make it different to quite a few other backend courses, which you'll find use a lot of Python and other languages as well. We are heavily focused on a JavaScript backend. And the second thing I should point out, this path does not take you from zero. Actually, I recommend you have an intermediate level knowledge of JavaScript before you start this path. And we do include some testing right here at the beginning. As I said, there is overlap between the full stack path and the back end path. And you will, even on the back end path, find a tiny bit of front end in places because really when you're a back end developer, you do need some knowledge of how the front end works, even if that's not where you're writing code most of the time. Now, sitting next to these three paths, we have got the AI engineer path. And again, this is a JavaScript based path. So great for web devs that want to build AI powered apps. Quite a lot of other courses which focus on AI are mostly in Python, but this one is pure JavaScript. Now, before starting this path again, I would recommend you have some JavaScript knowledge. You really just need to know how APIs work in JavaScript. If you've got that far, you're absolutely fine. In this path, we go into various ways of building apps around AI services like the OpenAI API. We've got a whole section on that. And we also go into things like retrieval augmented generation. So that's when you give AI a specific body of text from which it can find answers. And that is one of the most important uses of AI on the internet at the moment. So a really important topic. So there is loads of cool stuff here. And this pathway actually is really useful for pretty much any developer in this day and age because not many apps are being built today that have zero AI involved. AI really is being included as some kind of feature in pretty much any product you see being produced today. OK, so we need to talk about which pathway you should choose. Well, the good news is you don't have to choose one. And if you move on to a different one, your progress will carry over on any sections which are included in both paths. So, for example, if we come to the front end developer career path, and we'll find we've got a CSS section right here, build a google.com clone. Well, in the full stack path, if we go into HTML and CSS fundamentals, 
and then intro to CSS, you find the same content is repeated in both pathways. So if you do the front end developer path, and then after that, you come over to the full stack path, any scrims you've already done will show as completed and you won't have to repeat yourself. So you don't have to choose just one path, but then we should also think which path do you do first? And that really depends on where you want to go and what you're trying to achieve, of course. Now, the AI path and the back end path are a bit more specific. So if those are up your street, you probably know about it and you probably know which one you want to go for. Of the full stack path and the front end path, if you can't decide between them, I would be inclined to advise you to start with the full stack path. And my thinking there is that you're going to end up as a more rounded developer and that will give you more options. But on the other hand, if you know that front end is for you, or alternatively, you don't want to commit to the longer path and you'd rather start with the basics and get a certificate as soon as possible, then go for the front end path and you can always add on extras later if you need to. Okay, hopefully that has shone some light on the various pathways that we have got here at Scrimba. If you're still confused, why not check out our Discord? And here you can meet people who were exactly where you are now just a short while ago, and you can ask them for some advice.